Hi, it is the human operating system time. So today I like to get into a popular topics, which is the internals of Wing Chun Kui. We can uh, find this topic in many places, in forums, and in all kind of discussions. And today I like to share with you how it is if it is looked in the angle or the view from an ancient Chinese culture. So another word is today I like to share with you the internals of Wing Chun Queen taking the positions of ancient Chinese culture studying or researching. One thing, if one doing the uh, studying in the uh, ancient Chinese culture, studying, if one is studying an ancient Chinese culture subject, one needs to be careful and in-depth. Otherwise, one will not be able to find out what happened, but uh, it gets into all kinds of subjective interpretation and so forth. Now, uh, let's begin, and uh, I'm going to uh, lead you to every step so that uh, by the end of this video, you can understand what is going on if we studying uh, the uh, ancient Chinese culture subject, the internals of Wing Chun Kuen. Now, before that, i like to clarify what am I doing, okay? What is my directions? What is my agenda? Now, me, Hendrik, and the human operating system video channels and uh, my books and uh, my articles is an objective evidence-based university type of study, research and education. That's what I'm getting into. And uh, the subject is the ancient Chinese culture Qigong, internal art, Zen, meditations, traditional Chinese martial art, and of course, Wing Chun is included because in Wing Chun is a part of ancient Chinese culture. So another word is, I'm doing all the books I'm writing, the video I'm doing, the articles I'm writing, all is about ancient Chinese culture, studying, research, and education. So, uh, for example, late Mr. Nan Huai Jing is doing this type of job. And I'm just uh, following the directions of uh, late Mr. Nan Huai Jing, who do research study, educations. So what I'm doing, I'm not the monks in any religious community. I'm not the master or sifu in a traditional Chinese martial art or qigong society or any political party. And I'm not into promoting or put down any style, lineage, grandmaster, fighters, etc., or political, or who beat who, etc. So, this is not what I'm doing, okay? This is not what I'm doing, and I'm not involved in this, okay? And I don't want to involve in this. I have retired out from the traditional Chinese martial arts uh, society, okay? And uh, this is what I'm doing. You study the thing, you research the thing, uh, so it is like, uh, for example, you have a uh, uh, lecturer in the university city's uh, religious study, re uh, religious study or comparison religious study, 
And this professor, even though they lecture on religions and so forth, they are not monks, they are not linked to any uh, religions. That is my position. Okay? And so, if you don't like my, uh, my directions and my, uh, my, my point, then please do not watch my video channel. Do not read my books or article if you are not interested in what I'm doing. Because you, I, I don't want anybody read my books and then thinking, well, you know, uh, I must be against anybody and or such or such, or I put down anybody or such or such. It's just like the lecturer in the university when they talk about, say, Buddhism, they talk about the characteristic, analyze it, and so forth. They are not against Buddhisms, okay? So, so, so one needs to understand what I'm doing, okay? And I'm not in this, uh, um, I am the Buddhist monk, so, you know, I have to defend my, my, my Buddhism, religions, those kind of stuff, okay? So, uh, please get this clear once for all, you know, even though I have told uh, in this channel many times, but I put it in writing so people know what I'm doing, okay? So, uh, do not watch or read or, or, or even uh, ask me questions if, if you are not in this, in this uh, field because there's no point and uh, we live in a different world, okay? So, the reason why I am sharing this topic today is because a few days ago, in a Wing Chun forum, this thing comes up. And when this thing comes up, many people, uh, I have a lot of friends who, who, uh, who, 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 who talk to me, message me, ask me all kinds of questions and, and all, all kinds of things. So today I want to make it clear once for all, for you guys, so that you guys be able to know if you are studying into the ancient Chinese culture and the subject is Wing Chun within the ancient Chinese culture, you know what is going on, okay? Now, in this forum, the discussion, Mr. Red here, okay, I just put a red here, Mr. Red here, is saying, okay, Seriously, I am yet to see any Wing Chun that talks about Yi Qi Shen that wasn't influenced by other internal arts like Tai Chi, for example. If we are all going to pretend Wing Chun is internal with the same internal integrity as, say, Tai Chi, then please show me just one system that reference Yi Qi Shen without outside influence? Well, this is a, a reasonable question, okay? Now, so there's this uh, Mr. Blue here. He said that, uh, hey, Mr. Red, I suggest that you look at the Wing Chun Yik Kam Queen Quit, okay? So here, Mr. Red reply again. Hey, Mr. Blue, is Yik Kam Wing Chun the same lineage Hendrik Santo is from. This, this is where I was uh, contacted, okay, because uh, this sent right, back, right to me that somebody is asking me. If you are from this lineage, Hendrik, would you mind sharing your knowledge of Yi, uh, Qi, Yi, and Sun and about the internals of Wing Chun? So this is the reason why I share this topic today. Okay, and then here Mr. Blue come back again and he said, Mr. Red, no need to speak to Hendrik. You can read the Quinquit and see the reference to Yi, Qi, and Sun for yourself. Well, there's a few issues here, okay, in the standpoint of uh, investigating or researching or study or want to know what is the reality of ancient uh, Chinese culture, 
and namely the Wing Chun. The first thing is this uh, Wing Chun Yik Kam Kuin Kui. And here it said that same lineage. One need to understand one thing. This writing, the Queen Kui, the classical writing of Wing Chun, is the 1850 Wing Chun Queen Kui from the Red Boat, which is preserved by Yik Kam and passing down by Yik Kam. That is not Yik Kam Wing Chun. That's not Yik Kam Wing Chun. Okay, it is not Yik Kam Wing Chun. This is not an equal villain. This Queen Kui, this writing, this classical writing, is just a writing in the Red Boat era, which passed down to us today. It belongs to the entire Wing Chun. It is not something designed or created by Yik Kam. So there is no such thing as Yik Kam Wing Chun. There is only the Queen Kui of the Red Boat, which is passed down by Yik Kam. So we can see it today. Okay? That is very critical to know this accurate and specific. Because if you want to say this Yik Kam lineage or Yik Kam uh, Wing Chun, it must not apply to this Queen Kui of 1850. Because it is not. Okay? Now, here Mr. Blue saying that to saying to Mr. Red, no need to speak to Hendrik. You can read the Queen Creed and see the reference to Yi, Chi, and Sun for yourself. Well, even though after he, he contacted me, well, this Mr. Blue is saying that. Now, number one, do you need to contact me, Hendrik? No, you don't. If you really know what is going on with the ancient uh, uh, Wing Chun uh, Queen Creed writing. You know inside out in details and everything. You don't need to contact me. I am not the representative of Yik Kam or the ancient uh, Wing Chun. Okay? However, if one have no idea what is the Yik Kam Queen Creed or the, Yung, or the Wing Chun Queen Creed, it's better to call it the Wing Chun Queen Creed, which is a uh, 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 preserve and passing down by Yik Kam. One better get anybody who really know their stuff to learn about it, to study about it. Okay. One cannot just simply read the words and then come up with if, maybe, I think, I believe so, my interpretation. That is completely off topic. That is completely misleading and a disaster. If one know the Queen Creed, one need to be able to explain what, why, and how on the Queen Creed. So one has to be careful. I am not the representative of Yik Kam. I am not the representative of the 1850s uh, 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 Wing Chun uh, 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 in the Red Boat. So you don't have to contact me. I make it clear here. Okay? I'm a, I study into this, but I am not the, the representative. I am not the, 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 the guy who, 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 who spoke for it. However, one must know what is one talking about. Or else, it is a disaster. Okay? Now, let's start to get into this, to get into this, this point. Let's, get, let's start with something, okay? Which is uh, most people in the West do not familiar with. So, 100 years ago, exactly 100 years ago, in 1919, May 4th, the Chinese select to use the language we see today, okay, today's Chinese language, and classical language was abandoned, 
meaning after the uh, 1919 uh, May 4th, classical Chinese language is abandoned and no longer used. Okay? So they're using a new type of language. Now, then it get to the commoners take over China. And then you have this uh, simpli simplified communist uh, 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 invented or created the, the, the character. Okay, there's the simplified characters of the Chinese. And then you get into the cultural evolutions. And then here today. Today, it is very rare that people know about classical Chinese even rare to be familiar with ancient Chinese scriptures. Okay? So this is the, the, the reality we like it or like, uh, not liking it. So, if one using Google Translate try to read the Yikam Kun Kui or using the uh, the the, the, the uh, today's Chinese language try to make some sense out of the Yikam Kuin Kui. One, uh, and then one claim that there's one's research, my interpretation, I think my Sifu says. The critical question to ask is, are you sure what you're talking about? It definitely cannot, you know, like if I go to China and then I interview some uh, 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 people or I learn some Chinese character and then I take a Chinese class, even if you go to university. As soon as one do not dig inside to the ancient scripture and knowing the classical Chinese to decode everything, one really don't know what it is. That is reality. Okay? So today I'd like to share with you, there's layers and layers of death there. It is not as simple as what people usually think. Now, as in my book, The Wing Chun Matrix, over there, I have said that in order to study ancient Chinese culture, one needs to understand the practice of ancient Chinese in studying culture, uh, scripture, such as when one studied Buddhism scripture, the practice was using the later text to solve the preceding, uh, uh, preceding text, using the preceding text to follow the later text. So there's a mutual verification there. So what does it mean? What it means is the Chinese always using the previous text definitions for the later text. The, the classical Chinese is uh, the later text will use some terms or phrase of the previous text. Now, if one have no idea what is the previous text, one will know, not know what is the uh, mention or, or what is the later text means. And one, you know, just reading the later text, one cannot get into, I think so, I believe so, uh, I guess so. My interpretation is not. The Chinese is really uh, specific. So one need to know the previous text. So that's why it go back to here. One need to know the ancient uh, uh, Chinese scripture to be able to solve this issue. So, when one say that one is studying and doing researching in the uh, ancient uh, Chinese uh, uh, culture and uh, ancient Chinese art like Wing Chun to know a lot of classical 
context is very critical. That's why in the Wing Chun matrix, I link up to like General Chi Chi Guang, the Shaolin Sword Strike, you can see all the trends and so forth. So you need to have one thing define another thing to understand them. Okay? Now, of course, doing that will get into an issue, which is a common issue. Say this is the, uh, the oldest text. Okay? Say, for example, this is General Chi Chi Guang's uh, 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 writing. And then on the way here, this is the Shaolin short track writing. And then this is like the 1850 Red Boat writing. And then this is today's, what Wing Chun looked like. Well, now you have a problem. Today's is a box. 1850 is a, 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 a circle. Now they are not equal. So what? Now what happened? Well, one thing uh, usually people can get into will be denying. Well, denying whatever happened in 1850s. You say, well, this is fake. Okay? Or challenging what is this? Or maybe saying that, well, this is too far away, blah, blah, blah. Without really studying what happened. Actually, this is not a problem. The issue is one one to need to find out the evolutions. How is from the 1850 get to 19, uh, uh, 2019? What change? What has involved in? Okay. So because the, uh, the directions I'm doing, you get from Chi Chi Kuang, you got from Shaolin Short Strike, you got... 1850s, you know, like in the Yikam Quinquit, you know that they, they, they are actually follow the same trend and direction. And then today, if it is a different thing, then you want to figure out what is the evolutions. Okay? That's simple. So then there's no need of quarrel who is the authentic Wing Chun or, or this is wrong or that is wrong or those kind of things. Well, the Chinese have all the document there, up to 1850. And suddenly, if you get 19, uh, 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 2019, and uh, you see something there, and from here you get 1560 to 19, uh, 1850, you see they follow the same trend, directions, and then you see a different thing here, and then you see Tai Chi or whatever add-in, then you have to check, oh, what happened? Who add this thing in? How is this evolved? That's simple. It is an objective stuff. It doesn't have to take an any kind of personal fighting to decide which is, uh, which is, which is the truth. Just, just look into the data and, and see, let the data tell what it is. Okay? So, the previous text and all this is important. So one needs to be able to read classical Chinese one need to know all the text it is. Now, when I write the books, Basic Wing Chun Queen, and I openly post out the, uh, the, the release, the, the Queen Quit the, of the uh, Yik Gam passing down of the 1850s, and summarize the 6 in 3. What is that for? That is to do homework for those who want to really study what's going on. Because in today, one really cannot expect one go back to study classical Chinese and going to go uh, study all type of uh, uh, classical Chinese text. Well, it's almost impossible. Okay, or how many decades you need to spend on that? So when one read this quinquit, as this mentioned here, okay, you can read the quinquit and see the reference to the yi qi shen for yourself. When one read this, is that reading my translations? 
reading the words only here or know what, why, how. Well, there's no value on uh, just reading the, uh, the, the, the character. You don't believe me? You go just punching all this character into your Google Translate and see what come out. And I can tell you those are junk, okay? And I'm going to show you right here today why it is, it, it is you need to get deeper and understand what is it talking about, okay? So, I'm doing this 613.3. So the 6 is the 6 core element. This is the tools I create so that people can understand the king kid. And then there are 13 states. 13 state. Each element have a different states, 13 states, which one need to know. For what? For understand the screen creep. Otherwise, as what I said, you can uh, get Google's or any the Chinese translator to translate it, and I guarantee you it is nonsense. So, as here, just take an example. This is a momentum element. Okay, momentum element. The Y1, this Y pre-8 is a momentum element. Y1 is the physical body and mind element. Y6, it is the force flow of strength element is here because talk about Jing. Okay. And uh, Y8 here is the breathing and the Qi element. Okay. Now, anybody want to talk about Shen? Well, Shen is in Y1. Okay. So, whatever here, Yi, Qi, and Shen, it is within the, the, the writing. And it has more. It has momentum. It has a, a breathing, physical element, and so forth. So unless one really clear what is the 613 in this book and train with it, forget about it. One will not be able to know what is here. Now, one example I can, I can, I can, I can uh, be specific with you, going to be in-depth so that you can see once for all why it is this thing has to be professional like in the university. Now, you look at this Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5. You know what they are? You know Y1 to Y5. You know what they are? This is the instructions of how to perform or how the, the process of how to execute of the Yi Ji Kamyong Ma, the Xiu Lim Tao stands. Y1 to Y5. Okay? So, you have, you have, you have uh, this five quit there, and then one need to know the 613 in order be able to know what is going on. Now, I even go deeper to you, for you, okay? Just to explain this Y5. So the Y5 saying, Union in the Tan Tian, do channel sing. So the first, the first Y here, over here, is you stand in the equal shoulder stance, and then uh, you collect your mind to union with your son, so forth. And then how your hand raised in the uh, second uh, uh, quit. And then the third and the fourth is how you manage or handle your left and the right legs. And then you arrive at the fifth, which is you fully implement the E.G. Kamyong Ma. So when you fully implement the Iji Kamyong Ma, it is saying that union in the Tan Tian do channel sing. Now, 
So people might say, hey, you know, Tan Tian, this is Tai Chi. Do Madirian, this is uh, internal. Well, do you know exactly what it is? Do you know exactly what it is? Well, it's not good enough to say Tai Chi, uh, 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 Tai Chi Chuan, internal art, those kind of stuff. No. You need to go one step deeper on what it is. Otherwise, there's no way one be able to implement or realize it or practice it. Because one don't know. So, let me, let me show you what it is. Go one, 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 uh, one level deeper. This is what it is. Union in Tan Tian do channel sing. Okay? This is the archemis of the traditional Chinese Taoist and Qigong. Got nothing to do with Tai Chi or those kind of things. This five is really specific. Okay? First, let's get the simple one. Du channel. This is the Du channel. Okay, this is the do channel or do mine. This thing. So you know this do channel. So what is this union in Tan Tian? And what does this sing mean? Union in Tan Tian meaning the post-birth qi, which is breathing, and the pre-birth qi, breathing, is union here. Okay? Union here. And it's stored in Tan Tian. That's what it is. So you have your breathing, your post-birth qi, and your pre-birth qi. They are union here. Union. And then they store in Tan Tian. There's union in Tan Tian. Now, is that simple? Well, if you miss one critical thing, it's guaranteed screwed. Knowing this, it's not going to go anywhere. Why? Because you need to know what is sing mean. So, over here, the post breathing, the post chi, or the breathing, have a function on operations, and operations called Rising and sinking. One need to handle that in order to be able to implement the union in the Tan Tian. And then after union in the Tan Tian, the Qi will travel in the two meridians or the two channel. Okay? So in today's language, what is the sinking mean? What is this... Uh, Operations of the uh, uh, sinking and rising. Over here it say, well, that is the rational and natural rational and breathing. Okay? So if one have no idea what is the natural rational and breathing, forget about it. One have no idea, one will not be able to know what it is, one not be able to implement what it is. Okay? Now this, this thing, this uh, Y5, quit belong to the chi element. Natural resonance breathing belong to the breathing element. So Y5 is belong to the chi element. And now we we want to know how to get here we need to know the breathing element and then the mind element and then the physical element. Otherwise one not be able to handle this. So, this is the chi element. Now you need to know what is the natural resonance breathing. Otherwise, you cannot handle the rising and sinking. Okay? So, get one more deeper. So, this is, as in my book, Meditation Matrix, this is the natural resonance breathing. It belongs to the breathing elements. And it is resonance because the diaphragm here is going up and down like resonance. Okay, you can watch my other videos on the 
natural resonance breathing to, to find out the details. There is the breathing element. And when one has this resonance of the breathing, natural resonance of the breathing, guess what? The anus is contracting or loosening up or rising and uh, uh, lifting or, or, or uh, dropping naturally. It's naturally. It's not a, a manipulations. The breathing element. And at that insta instance, the mind elements is actually using the aware functions in the quiet state. Okay, in the in the in the quiet state. So. You